Hi, boys and girls. It is the creator of Bored with Miss Reynolds Better Off Reading Every Day. I have some real cuties for you. It's all about babies, baby animals, little ones. The first one is called Babies. And this is the Yellowstone and Grand Tenton Babies. Prickly baby porcupine climbing a tree. Count the furry wolf pups. One, two, three. Hiding in the grass is a pronghorn fawn. Say that three times fast. Ah, swimming in the water is a trumpeteer swan. Hello, baby marmots playing in the rocks. Hello, baby elk covered in spots. Tiny baby cottontail, what do you hear? A bison family is very near. What do you think the fox kits see? Two bobcat kittens on the fallen tree. Moose calf plays in the sun so bright. Grizzly cub grows sleepy in the fading light. Sweet dreams, little spotted fawn, good night. Sleep tight. That is the end of Babies, Yellowstone, and Grand Tenton. What a cutie. My second one is Animal Friends. Babies, grow and explore with your animal buddies. I told you there was going to be a lot of babies around. You might look a lot like your parents. Someday you will be big and tall too. For now, your parents will keep you close. Keeping you close, your parents can give you plenty of kisses. They there are kisses for your brothers and sisters too.
in a big family, you always have company. Families do many things together, like eat. Oh yeah. Families share stories about the day. Tell me, are you ever scared? Parents will keep you safe and show how to do new things. Show you how to do new things. You can do it if you try. Let's play hide and seek. Later, we can have a rumble together. After playtime, you might be sleepy. Would you like a cuddle to go to sleep? Oh, my favorite kind, mommy's cuddles. Your parents love you and like looking after you. Your parents show you many new sights, sounds, and places. There is so much to see in this great big world. There is so much to hear in this great big world. There is so many places to go. There are so many places to go. Hang on for some new adventures. We love our adventures, don't we? Especially at Board with Miss Girls. Where would you like to go today? Anywhere that I get to read to you. And that is the end of babies. There they are, the babies. Join playful animal buddies in exploring the world, learning new things, and having lots of baby time fun. And here are all of the babies right there. That's all of them that was in this book. All those babies. All right, put that one away. Baby Animals by... Seymour Simon, Seymour Readers Level 1, Grades P through 1, includes four collectible cards. Baby animals live all over this world. A baby horse is called a fawn. Right after a fawn is born, it tries to stand on its feet. In an hour, it can walk around. By the next day, a fawn 
can run and kick its hooves in the air. A mother lion gives birth to two or three cubs at a time, at one time. The newborn cubs weigh around three pounds each. The mother feeds them with milk and little bits of meat. By the time the cubs are a year old, they are hunting with older lions. A baby chick hatches from an egg laid by mother hen. Chicks eat grain and seeds, but chicks have no teeth. So they swallow tiny stones to help grind up their food. Look at the cute little chicky chickies. Baby pigs are called piglets. They will gain more than 200 pounds in just six months. Piglets like to roll in the mud. The mud keeps them cool. Reminds me so much of Babe and Wilbur. Two of my favorite pig stories. A baby cow is called a calf. Calves drink milk from their mothers. When they grow up, they eat grass or hay. A humpback whale baby is also called a calf. It is 12 feet long at birth. In one day, the calf drinks 100 gallons of milk and gains 200 pounds. Wow. A rhino calf weighs over 100 pounds at birth. It begins to eat grass, leaves, and bushes at one week old. Mother rhinos weigh over 2,000 pounds. That's as much as 20 baby rhinos. Right after they hatch from eggs, ducklings follow their first moving thing they see. They follow the first moving thing they see. Usually ducklings follow their own mother, but if they see you first, they will follow you instead. Puppies are born blind and deaf but they begin to see and hear after a week or 10 days. Puppies' sense of smell is over 100 times better than a person's. Like puppies, kittens are born blind and deaf, unable to stand. After three weeks, they can see, hear, and walk they play at hunting and catching. After eight to 10 weeks, kittens can take care of themselves without their mother's help. Eagle parents protect their eggs in a nest until they hatch. The nest is built of sticks and may weigh 1,000 pounds or more. Baby eagles grow to be the size of their parents in just two years. A mother gator snake gives birth to 20 or more baby snakes. Young garter snakes are the si about the size of a pencil. Mother snakes do not take care of their babies. The babies start to hunt for worms, frogs, and fish as soon as they are born.
Baby deer are called fawns. Fawns are not often seen. They hide quietly in tall grass or in bushes. Their light spotted brown fur blends in well with leaves and twigs. Baby rabbits are also called fawns. A mother rabbit has about eight baby fawns at one time. Each baby is only about one inch long. You could hold all these fawns together in your two hands. All over the world, baby animals are playing, growing, and learning how to survive. And of course, they end it with this cutie right here. Oh my goodness. Boys and girls, it is Board with Miss Reynolds, better off reading every day. I don't own the rights to these three books that I have read to you, but I love storytelling magic. And the magic of today's story is, I wanted to read to you all about cute baby animals because I feel like they bring us such joy. They put us in such a good mood and sometimes they even make us smile. So all of these babies right here, we learned all about them, all about them and their mommy's relationship, how they survive, what they eat, what they like to do. And it was all in these three baby animal books. And all of these books were given to me by the librarian at school. She said, here are some books that I think that you should read. And I could not wait to read them to you. I hope you enjoyed them as much as I did. And I hope that they brought a little smile to your face. You learned a little something and they also made you feel all warm and cozy inside. I know they did for me. Babies, all kinds of babies do that for me, especially my human baby, my little sweet girl Jade, when she was just a tiny little thing that I could hold in her hand and call her baby Jade. But no longer, she's a big girl now, out there on her own in college finding her way, and I wanna dedicate these books to her because she'll always, always be my baby. I'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah. What a cutie. Why do you have to go and be so cute all the time? <sighs> Can't resist you in all your cuteness. You too.